What are some practical ways that pastors and husbands can protect the women of their churches? We know that those of us who are married, we have a responsibility to disciple our wives. And as elders, we have a responsibility in a sense to protect the women of the churches, uh, wives, daughters of the churches from the false doctrine that is so prevalent in women's ministry. Um, what are some ways that we can approach that? You know, at the risk of being controversial, and you know, I, I do not like being controversial. Um, I think it's very important for pastors to teach the women in the church. I, I think we are witnessing a very dangerous trend where we have almost capitulated to the idea that if women are going to learn theological truth, they need to learn it from women. If God believed that, then there would have been women authors in the Bible. Do you follow? If you press that, that it has to be a woman to teach the women so that they can relate to the women, now you're messing with the authority of the Bible because you don't have women writing scripture, which means that God figured out how to get women the truth that they need through authorized men. So I think we need to be very careful with this idea that whenever women are going to gather and be taught, that it has to be a woman who is teaching them. And I think we need to intentionally go against that and have the authorized teachers of our church, the elders, also instructing the women. And, and asking, ladies, if you're uncomfortable with this, explain to me why. Because you, you might be getting ready to be uncomfortable with the Bible. 